We got a ton of new Assassin's Creed Valhalla news as we wait for that next big gameplay blowout. Access the Animus reported on new info from Mega Mix 2020. Seems like there is a live action trailer coming as well. Our roaming bosses back. There's a ton to discuss. I will do a full news roundup here in this video. A like would really help the channel out. And let's go. But first I want to go over the sponsor of this video. This plate where you can get a ton of amazing prints for almost everything. Including awesome Assassin's Creed prints. I got the Origins one and the Odyssey logo the last time around. And they also already got some Valhalla prints that I will get later. For now I got one from Horizon Forbidden West that looks awesome. And also a smaller one for Ghost of Tsushima. That I will actually be putting somewhere else just like this cyberpunk one i also got but i can't reveal more about that just yet either way it's super easy to put these plates on your wall this plate namely uses magnets and this also means that you can easily remove the plate and change them for another one on the same location totally check the special link in the video description to see the plates that i got now and to get your own plates i got a special discount if you get one or two disc plates you get 27 percent off if you get three or more, then you get 37% off. And this offer will last until October 12th. So you gotta be fast. Again, link in the description. Thanks to this plate for sponsoring the video. And now let's get back to some Valhalla news. Let's start with a new look at the map that Julian, the producer on Valhalla, shared during Mega Mix Montreal, an online convention for video game developers from the looks of it. Because Julian did an almost one hour long French presentation about the making of Valhalla. And this was reported on by Access the Animus. And you find a link to their channel in the video description. Because again, here we see a new look at England with some key icons highlighted. And one of them is your settlement. So we now know that we build our home base in Mercia in Leicestershire. And it actually makes a ton of sense because it's a very early region in the game which suggested power level 20. Something that you will have after spending 19 skill points that we will likely earn in Norway where we start the game. London will then likely be the first major city where we go to because it has suggested power level 55. Jorvik has 160 and Winchester will then likely be the final major city we visit because of power level 220. And now we actually got a first ever small look at these cities thanks to the panel from Julian. With Winchester in Wessex where we might encounter Alfred who we of course recently saw in the new trailer. Will be awesome to explore this version of London after seeing Syndicate and actually playing Watch Dogs Legion the week before. And I love how we then also have York or Jorvik as it was then called a more Viking city. We also got more new shots. I love this one from Female Eivor when talking about stealth and parkour getting some syndicate vibes right here. Seems like a new cloak as well. And we got more female Eivor love during the presentation because Julian also shared a ton of familiar images with her instead of male Eivor. Like with the armor sets going on a raid. Of course, noteworthy that for some reason they have these pictures but they did not release them. We only have them with Mil Eivor. They showed some familiar new images like this one from the Way of the Berserker pre-order mission, but that did include some new info like that there will be 45 animal species in the game and also 20 fishes to catch. So it seems like we can spend quite a lot of time fishing if we want. You can of course fish for food, for health, but also, I think you can sell fish to get some nice extra silver. We also got a look at a completely new image that shows Mil Eivor fighting one of the daughters of Lyrian. Multiple things are interesting about this. For one, Eivor has a sword in his hand. Something we haven't seen in gameplay yet. Only in that short gameplay overview footage that had the two-handed sword doing the insane finisher. And this could be that weapon as well that thanks to the heavy dual wield Eivor is wielding this two-handed weapon in one hand instead of needing two. But you would think that regular swords are also in the game, right? Also interesting are the Zealot Warriors mentioned as an encounter here. Because we haven't seen those in action yet and this is actually the first time that we hear about them. But looking at the other random encounters that are mentioned here that will likely attack you when you get close. They are kind of surprise things. 
I would not be surprised if the Salad Warriors are comparable to the Mercenaries or the Vilaki bosses from Origins. And I would love it if that is the case because I really enjoyed a system like that where you had to be on your toes when a boss type of enemy was close. Obviously it will work different in Valhalla than in Odyssey because in Odyssey you could kill every NPC to increase the bounty meter to then lure mercenaries towards you. In Valhalla this will work different and YouTuber Dantix has a great example of that that I will link to also in the video description. We namely see that when you kill too many civilians you will desynchronize. Something we of course also saw in the games before Odyssey, but yeah, this does mean that there will not be a bounty on our heads and then these enemies chasing us. So, really curious how the sellout thing will then play out. Your theories are more than welcome in the comments down below, but overall, I would be really happy if the roaming bosses returned. The presentation also shared some interesting development insights, like where we see the timeline, and you would think that they are now around the gold mark, one month away from launch, and then they're moving into operations, the post-launch. Julian did not share anything specific about the post-launch yet, but it seems to be a pretty long tail if the different green arrows are representative of the overall time spent on the development, because then it should be three years at the gold point. I by the way looked it up and we got the Odyssey post-launch trailer on September 13th when the game came out on October 5th and the Origins post-launch trailer released October 10th when the game came out on October 27th. So it's like a three weeks before launch window, meaning that we should get the trailer pretty soon. I'm really curious to see who the new Sargon will be. And Jillian also touched on all the different studios helping as well, which again is insane to look at. And we also got some other news, namely that the game is likely around the 50 gigs, according to the official Xbox and Microsoft page, and also that a live action trailer is likely coming. I got reached out by Red Dead Vibes on Instagram at Yoraptor, follow me there of course if you haven't already, who shared an Instagram story from Kadart Cosplay, who was filming the recording of this live action trailer, with someone who totally looked like Mil Eivor, and we got some crazy bad guys there too, walking up to the camera. Reddit Vibes then reached out to Kadar to indeed confirmed it was a live action short that should go live before the release even. So it should be a quick turnaround indeed. We had live action trailers for Odyssey like 2 actually. So totally expect something similar as we near the November 10th release date. And trust me, I got a ton of Valhalla videos coming your way before that launch and of course beyond as well. I can't wait to cover this game like I did with Origins and Odyssey. It's going to be really awesome. I can't wait for you to play it as well. So totally subscribe if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help the channel out. Again, check this plate in the pinned comment. And I, by the way, also have a separate channel that just started, Raptor World Gameplay. You see the first video here. It just raw gameplay from my recent play sessions including Valhalla so if you want to see it totally click here on the screen and subscribe as well I need thousand subscribers and then I hit like a new YouTube threshold so that would be awesome if you could go there and subscribe for now I will speak to you next time and goodbye